Another big article on this issue is um, I interviewed the director of a movie called The Cove, and it just won an Academy Award, like what, four days ago, uh -huh. for Best Documentary. But, um, so it's not super new, but it's just starting to get out, get out there. Um, I think a lot of people are afraid to watch it because of the subject matter. Um, it's kind of infamous, these scenes of mm -hmm. dolphin slaughter in Japan. But um, I got to talk to the director, and um, it was, you know, he's a really interesting guy. So uh, maybe we should just watch a clip of it, since they um, graciously gave us some. But I do want to say that we try to do the story legally. There it is. A little town with a really big secret. It's so bizarre. What's going on over here? When we first got in the country, we had no idea who was following us. Do you think they know we're here? We didn't know if it was the whalers, the Japanese mafia. Somebody's behind me. I don't know who that is. They don't like me. They don't like my message. Rick is world famous for his work with dolphins. I feel somewhat responsible because it was the Flipper TV series that created this multi-billion dollar industry. The dolphin smile is nature's greatest deception. Okay, there's a flashlight. Guards are moving. Guards are moving. Get out of there. Get out of there now. That's a crazy clip. <laughs> yeah, well, the funny thing is he was telling me, um, the director was saying how um, he went to a festival somewhere and some other filmmakers were asking him, well, what do you do? And he says, well, you know, I make documentaries. And it turns out the other guys made horror movies. And then they were saying, yeah, you know, you actually make a horror movie too. Because, you know, it's about going to this creepy town where there's a secret. There's all these cover-ups and there's blood. And then people are poisoned. And, you know, it just goes on and on. It's like a real-life horror movie. But um, do you think the documentary is helping in the end? Um, it's helping awareness. You know, people are writing letters and tons of people are joining the quick Twitter and Facebook and all those things. But um, as far as reality and, you know, it being outlawed, I think there's pressure. But, you know, there's probably as much pressure on the other side not getting it shown in Japan. You know, I think there's a distributor for in Japan. I just recently read. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a battle for it to get out in Japan, where really that's where people need to see it, I think the most maybe. Um, but also I just found out that, uh, I guess it was it the producer from The Cove, I'm not sure, or one of the, definitely one of the principals in The Cove actually busted up a ring of uh, whale meat, uh, whale meat uh, for sale or for serving at a sushi restaurant in Santa Monica called The Hump. Um, and I thought that was ironic that it was uh, maybe, what, two days after the Oscar that they actually came out with this. After photographing with secret cameras, I, last year, uh, they just released that uh, this, this restaurant is totally busted now for um, <laughs> serving whale meat. And, it, and I, then I found out from a, a, a friend who's a sushi man who has other friends in that industry, they said that they've been selling whale meat for 10 years at that restaurant. Mm -hmm. So although they're closed now or are, and, are, and are facing big uh -huh. fines and penalties, yeah, it's been going on for a long time. But, you know, again, it's the Cove uh, putting a, you know, kind of a mark on this kind of idea of, uh, you know, conservation of animals and mammals in, in the ocean. So I thought that was kind of a, kind of timely, but at the same time, kind of important. Yeah, it's definitely worth seeing.